Hey everyone and welcome back. In this video we'll be taking a look at all the best and the easiest ways to fast travel, teleport or go from point A to point B whilst being AFK. I have compiled a list of all the ultimate ways or methods and I'm sure you'll find them very useful while playing for long hours. I've also made videos showing the top 5 must own useful vehicles video and along with that the number one ultimate vehicle which each and every player must own video. If you haven't seen those yet, then do check them out, I'll be linking them at the top as well as in the description down below. Now coming back to the topic of this video, there are 5 ways or methods in doing this and I'll go about with them one by one. In the 5th place, that is the first and foremost, is the easiest and the simplest one which basically anybody can do, even the new players. That's the taxi method. This is probably one of the most underrated thing in online that nobody uses even today. Using this method is easy, you all you gotta do is just call up the cab service and a taxi will soon spawn near you. Once you get in the taxi, you can scroll through the locations you wanna go or you can set your own waypoint to any location you want and select the waypoint option. Once you have selected and started, the taxi will take you to the selected location while you sit back and relax being there of it. And if you happen to exit the vehicle midway through the journey, then the taxi guy will call cops on you. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Coming to the fourth place is another easiest and affordable method which also can be done okay, by anyone done. including the new players. It is the Meriwether helicopter pickup. There is also a Meriwether boat pickup which you, you can utilize if you are out in the water a like stranded or something. So do keep that in mind as well as it will be very helpful hey in there. certain times to get ashore. Now with the helicopter pickup, you can call for it from anywhere through your phone contacts menu and a helicopter will spawn helicopter near you in just a few seconds. If you want to use the helicopter personally Get for your work, the then you can just take out the pilot when he lands and use it for yourself. Or you can just get on the heli and select the point where you want to go. Mind, Once you have selected, the helicopter will go to the marked location while you can be AFK. You can get up and flex your muscles, go for nature okay. call, get snacks or just, or just about anything you like. And Hope once you, you reach the, the destination, the pilot stops the heli in the air and you gotta jump out and open the parachute to reach you the ground still have to pay full price, you Now, know? the third one is basically similar to the previous one, but a bit costlier and requires you to own the CEO office. It is the CEO assistant helicopter service. It is the same as the Meriwether helicopter pickup, but costs $5,000 and it's a luxury helicopter. Calling of the helicopter, pickup and everything is literally the same it's as the previous one you right except now. the cost. Which is the only landing. difference. You call the helicopter by calling your assistant and selecting the luxury heli pickup option. Once it arrives, you get on and select the location or set waypoint and start. Possible. Once you reach the destination, the heli stops in the air and as usual you gotta jump out and use the parachute. It is simple as that. Other than the luxury helicopter method, I use the two earlier methods whenever I play the game for long hours grinding days mainly, but the next two methods I use basically every time I play the game. Coming to the second place one, which is also my all time useful and helpful one, is the Appressor Mark II vehicle method. I have made a complete video regarding this vehicle showing all the benefits you get with owning it and also in the top 5 must own vehicles video which I mentioned earlier. So if you haven't seen them yet then do check them out, I will be linking them at the top and in the description down below. Now to the best part of this vehicle related to the topic is the ability you get to travel from one place to another being AFK. It's basically very simple and I do it almost all the times. Once you mark a point on the map you need to go to, get on the upper sum mark 2 and gain some height once you start moving in that direction. And once you have reached a certain height you can just put some weight on the W key on your keyboard or if you use the controller then you can use the rubber band to pull it down making the vehicle to go ahead. Now in the meantime the oppressor goes to the mark location. You can sit back, relax or just walk around and move to get off the numbers. Whenever I need to travel long distances in game or going from one place to another collecting packages or crates and delivering them, I use this method. It's like taking a mini break whilst getting to the place or getting the job done. And once you are nearing to the location, you can press the down button or even stop above the place and press the exit button. What this will do is it lowers the vehicle to the ground limits before the player exits. This is one of the most convenient way which you can use just about every time, anywhere, anytime. I do this all the time in the game. Also there's a new Oppressor Mark II speed boost glitch which I have made a video on 
I'll be linking it at the top as well as in the end of the video so be sure to check it out too. Now to the number one method which is the best, easiest and the simplest one and which does not even require you to have any sort of vehicle or use any. It is the heist, apartment or facility teleport or fast travel method. Many players don't make use of this method and it is amongst the most underrated things. To do this is very simple. All you got to do is have your normal apartment haste or your facility doomsday haste setup mission started and be available in your cell phone. Now all you got to do is open your cell phone and start up the haste. It might be a setup mission or the final one, it doesn't matter. And then you'll be teleported to your apartment in just a few seconds. If it's a setup mission then you'll be put into the haste screen from which you can just back out. If it's the final one then you'll just be teleported into the heist room. The same is for the facility Doomsday Haze too. There instead of the apartment you'll teleport to your facility. Now this will be very useful if you are in north of the map and want to get to your office in the city limits very quickly or even in situations where you stand in the middle of the ocean and want to get to the city limits or your facility location. Then you can use this method. This method saves a lot of time and is very helpful. Alright everyone that's pretty much it for this video. If you have any questions or topics you want me to address to then let me know in the comments down below and I'll address them soon. Hit the like and subscribe button so as to help the channel grow. Also share the videos to help your friends too. I'll be making more such useful and helpful videos so stay tuned to the channel by subscribing. Thank you all and have a good day.